It's a part of the fabric of the PGA Tour. I love all traditional golf courses. It's hosted so many gigantic events. It's always in great shape. This golf course is incredible. It's just a treat to play. We need to keep playing more in Ohio. Welcome to Firestone Country Club, one of golf's timeless destinations. Boasting three acclaimed courses with 54 legendary holes of world-class golf and hosts to more than 80 professional tournaments and counting. This Midwestern landmark in Akron, Ohio has a rich and storied history that you can feel from the moment you arrive. This incredible golf story began in early 1929 when Harvey Firestone, founder of the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, commissioned the design and development of both the country club and the now fabled South Course. The South Course, designed by Burt Way, opened that August with Harvey Firestone taking the first ceremonial shot himself. Firestone's PGA Tour debut came in 1954 when it hosted the inaugural Rubber City Open. That event ushered in what would become an illustrious tradition of professional golf at Firestone, playing host to three PGA Championships, the World Series of Golf, American Golf Classics, Rubber City Opens, Senior Players Championships, and WGC Invitationals. Golf legends were born and celebrated at Firestone, with their victories cementing them as icons of the game. Jack Nicklaus, an Ohio native, made his PGA Tour debut at the 1958 Rubber City Open as an 18-year-old amateur, an experience, he says, convinced him he could make it in the pros. Since then, the Golden Bear has gone on to win seven times on Firestone South Course, including the 1975 PGA Championship. And 1958 also saw Firestone's most dramatic off-course moment, as the original clubhouse tragically burned down. In an effort to prevent potential disasters in the future, the clubhouse reconstruction including added the now famous Firestone Water Tower. Visible from all three of the club's courses, the 125-foot tall water tower has become an iconic landmark synonymous with championship golf. In coordination with the PGA Championship's first appearance at Firestone in 1960, the South Course underwent a major redesign by Robert Trent Jones Sr., which added more than 50 bunkers and two ponds, as well as significantly lengthening the famous par 70 to over 7,000 yards. That year, after a triple bogey on the 16th hole in the third round, Arnold Palmer called it a monster. And just like that, the monster at Firestone was born. Today, a plaque resides on the bridge near the 16th green in honor of the King's three victories at Firestone and his playful moniker for one of the game's toughest par fives. Two years later, in 1962, Firestone would bear witness to a clash between golf royalty the first ever high stakes World Series of Golf showdown featured Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, and Gary Player testing the world's best on the South Course. The press excitement grew around the match between what they termed the Big Three. With high stakes and huge media interest, the event paved the way for the evolution of modern golf television. In 1969, Robert Trent Jones Sr. continued making his mark by designing the championship caliber and picturesque North Course. Famous for its many lakes and streams and considered by many to be the most scenic of the Firestone courses, it has been ranked one of America's best courses and has also hosted the American Golf Classic.
the West Course, first opened in 1989, adding 18 more holes of exceptional golf to an already storied club. Today, the West Course is known as the Fazio Course, owing to the artistry and inventiveness of Tom Fazio's renovations in the 2000s. It is now host to the annual Ohio Senior Open. Pitching wedge on its way. Oh, almost ended it right there. Game, set, match. Tiger Woods and Firestone have a very special relationship, beginning with his first win in 1999, followed by another seven victories. Well, I've always said if you made a golf course for a golfer, Firestone is made for Tiger Woods. Tiger's eight wins tie Firestone for the most wins he's had on a single course matched only by Torrey Pines and Bay Hill. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that is really impressive. In the final round of the 2000 WGC Invitational, Tiger hit his famous shot in the dark on the 18th hole of the South Course. As darkness fell over Firestone, Woods, with an 11-shot lead, landed a near-impossible eight iron just beyond the flag and spun it back to inside two feet. I don't believe it. <laughs> a tap and birdie in pitch darkness with camera flashes lighting up the night sky. I've never seen the likes of this. The shot in the dark secured Tiger's fifth of eight wins at Firestone. He's left them in the dark again. This will be the shot that we'll remember this tournament by. How about that, huh? Lights out. In all, Firestone Country Club has played host to an impressive list of 88 tournaments throughout the decades, with many of the game's greats claiming victory at one of golf's toughest and most distinguished venues. Fueled by its past, and with a constant eye towards the future, Firestone has and always will be one of our nation's greatest golf venues, challenging both golf legends as well as those members honored to call it home.